good morning guys it is the morning of my first cross-country mountain bike race so we're gonna hop in the truck and uh, get over there the place is only like five miles from my house so super nice but uh we're gonna get over there and race it and then uh, go race dirt bikes later today so uh, it's gonna be a packed full day but this video will probably just be the mountain bike race and then you guys will have to hop over to another video check out the dirt bikes but uh, I'm looking forward to it never done one um, I did a crit race uh, a couple weeks ago so be sure to check that video out uh, but yeah just kind of hopping in this mountain bike stuff not really knowing what to expect and uh, getting into it so it's pretty fun yeah so just ride along and and uh, we'll see what we learn what happens and see how the day goes so let's get it all right some people camped out here Got a sweet looking van over there, that's sick. Right, so we just got here, it's about 6.45. My race starts at eight, uh, but we gotta go get signed up and uh, get everything ready. So we're gonna head up there, get signed up, and uh, kinda see what's up, see what happens, and um, get our number plate on, everything like that. Signed up, boys. Alrighty, so we just got signed up and got back. Got a transponder right here, um, so that'll be kind of scoring. And then we also got number 99, got the GoPro on, ready to go. And uh, yeah, just kind of waiting around a little bit um, just to uh, get going, get up there. There's gonna be a riders meeting here in a bit, so uh, we'll head up there and then probably just stay up there until the race starts. So. Um, just gonna make sure we're good and loosened up, ready to go, uh, warmed up, and yeah, I don't don't know really what to expect other than that. So uh, I'm just gonna try to follow that lead group today, I think, and uh, see what see what happens. Go till we get tired, I guess. Obviously, pace myself so that way we can actually finish. But you guys know what I mean. We're gonna go hard for the cross country race. Off the start line, everyone's gonna do a start loop that will merge you onto the full cross-country loop. Just got the riders meeting done and now we're gonna head up there to the start. So uh, I'm just gonna throw you guys on the GoPro and we're gonna get started here. So wish me luck. All right guys, when I say go, five, four, three, two, one, go. And we are off just like that. So. There is about 20, maybe 30 of us on the line here, and that includes the pro class, master's class, 18 and under. There's a few different classes, but anyway, hopped into second place here, and then uh, we've got a little start loop, and then we'll head up and actually start the, um, the full cross-country loop that we've got. So the total length of the race is going to be about 12 miles. And so that puts each lap a little under six miles. Alright, so on that fire road there, we lost a couple places. Um, and we're sitting fourth right now. But nothing too much to worry about. Um, I didn't feel like we had to be in that first place position right off the start because I knew there was going to be quite a few places to pass and with riding the trail the day before just kind of pre-riding it getting the lap in knowing where some spots are going to be I knew I was going to be able to uh, to just kind of see how everybody was doing maybe follow jump in behind somebody or you know best case we'll just take the lead and run away with it but going up to this hill I knew I didn't want to get let the leaders get away, so um, I knew that to do that, I had to obviously stay with them up this hill. So um, there's a few people dropping back. We'll just put it put it in a little bit of fast motion here, but um, made the pass, and now the goal is pretty much just to stay stay in second and um, kind of see how the leaders are rolling, and then we have somebody else coming up to the side of us. So 
we're going to once again just stay in second and um, stay with him. But another thing, this is the biggest hill on the course, so we don't want to waste ourselves just on this right here. At this point we've built up a little bit of a gap on the rest of the field but not too much um, and the rest of the thing is like I don't really know what to expect other than I want to stay with that lead group um, like I said this is my first real cross-country race I rode the crit um, like a couple weeks ago but this one is my first real cross-country race so I wasn't sure too much what to expect and so far what I've learned is off the start they push pretty hard and then they kind of take it back a little notch after kind of everybody gets sorted out a little bit so it's um, a little bit similar to uh, racing hair scrambles with the dirt bikes that I do a lot of the time um, oh, you're good. and right here he was just he was asking he was hey if I'm holding you up let me know and and he's gonna let me around so that's another huge thing that's different about the dirt bikes and then uh, this section here I was looking forward to this on this lap and the lap after this because I knew it was a little bit of a break going down this hill I was comfortable going downhill and um, knew it would be a little bit of a break pedaling so we're just uh, gonna try to flow with it and I feel like with my skills riding dirt bikes it helps transfer over to uh, some of this and the bike control and being comfortable going going fast going at speeds such as this stuff so at this point I'm feeling pretty comfortable in second and uh, we're getting to be about halfway through uh, this first lap here and just kind of feeling things out like all right I know I'm gonna be able to put in a good push as long as he's not saving a whole bunch for the end or he's saving something for the second lap um, so I knew at this point I knew I had had a little bit more left in the tank but we're still pushing it a little bit okay so he started reaching in his pocket getting something and I'm messing with it and then he just said go on by me I gotta put this in my pocket so we went ahead and made the pass and now we're in the lead so I wasn't expecting it to do it that quick but I guess uh, we'll take it and go ahead and go with it um, so we're coming through now completing our first full lap so halfway done and we're gonna switch out my bottle here get a fresh one get some hydration and head up this hill for the second and final time. So I would say I definitely was not looking forward to this for the second time. It is a big hill. Hill never ends. Yeah, Especially right up there. second lap. <laughs> So yeah, it feels like it literally never ends, but luckily it's the last time we have to do it and um, we've got a pretty good gap. So before we went up this hill, I was like, all right, save myself for a little bit. I knew that was the hardest hill on the rest of the course and then, uh, we had some downhill stuff and a little bit of break and then obviously some more uphill, but um, yeah, two rivers. It's a pretty gnarly place if you guys have ever been there. Um, it's got a lot of elevation and everything like that. So we're almost done with our lap here and just kind of completing this last little downhill section to uh, go out to the field. So at this point, I've taken a few looks behind my shoulder. There's nobody in sight. So we're going to cruise it in and get this W. So it was awesome. My first race, I learned that get a good start keep up with that lead group and then pace yourself make sure you can go on um, the pace the whole time and we made it happen so thank you guys for watching this video and um, 
hope you guys learned something from this if you guys have any tips for me let me know in the comments or if you guys have any questions for me also let me know and um, let me know if we should keep racing these bicycles it's been pretty fun so uh, I think I'll keep doing it but let me know if we should keep making videos let me know what you guys think we'll see you guys later be sure to subscribe check out some of my other videos and have a good one